One of the most common questions I get about Bond Breaker is this. Seriously, why the F-stars should hydrogen attract to protons? I assume F-stars stands for physics, and I have to agree, there's something strange happening between hydrogen and protons. So seriously, what the physics is going on? In Bond Breaker 2.0, a game I developed in collaboration with CASEL, the Center for Chemistry at the Space-Time Limit, you take on the role of a lowly proton. Well, not that lowly. You can combine into atoms or molecules, fire lasers, and all around just rock out in a nanoscale world. The game is based on real physics and chemistry with a mixture of quantum mechanics and electric forces. Two of the main particles you'll encounter in the game are protons with a positive charge and electrons with a negative charge. And when it comes to electric forces, we all know opposites attract and likes repel. So if you have two or more protons near each other, they're going to repel. If you add an electron onto a proton, you can get a hydrogen atom. It's held together by electric forces and quantum mechanics, but what's really important for us today is it's got one positive charge and one negative charge. The charges balance, making hydrogen neutral. And if it's neutral, it should be unaffected by electric forces, right? Wrong. The hydrogen pulls the proton right in using the electric force. Why the physics does that happen? Well, the electric force depends not only on charge, but also on distance. The closer two objects are to one another, the stronger the electric force. So while the hydrogen atom may have a net charge of zero, we have to consider where the proton and electron are. They're not in the exact same spot. Hold up. This image of the atom is wrong. It's got the electron orbiting around like some sort of planet, and that's not what happens. Not only does it not orbit that way, Due to quantum mechanics, the electron doesn't have a definite position. It's kind of a probability cloud of where we might expect it to be. Same goes for the proton. The reason the game draws it this way is I want people to look at it and say, hey, there's an atom, and not, hey, what's that fuzzy thing doing on that other fuzzy thing? I'm going to treat this classically from here on out, ignoring the fuzziness. But just know that if you think about it using probability clouds instead, it'll all work out too. Now, if the hydrogen were all alone, we'd expect to find the electron on any given side of it totally symmetrically, totally balanced. But it's not alone. We've got this positive charge over here. And since we've got a positive charge, it's going to attract the electron towards it a little bit and repel the proton in the hydrogen away from it. We say the hydrogen gets polarized into a dipole. Think the two poles of a magnet, but since this is electricity instead, it's not the north and south pole, but we've got a positive and negative pole. Okay, so it gets polarized, but remember our question, why does hydrogen attract protons? Well, remember from a moment ago, the closer two things are, the stronger the electric force between them. What does that mean for our proton? Well, it's attracted to the electron and repelled by the other proton. But those forces don't balance out. The electron's a little bit closer, which means the attractive force is going to win. They'll get pulled together. Ta-da! Science. This explanation works only up to a point. Once they get close enough, you really have to take quantum mechanics into account. And that lets it do other things, like have the three particles bond together into a molecule. But that's a story for another time. This phenomenon of charged objects attracting to neutral ones doesn't just happen at the atomic scale. It's also why you can stick a charged balloon to a neutral wall. Okay, now this balloon has a net negative charge, which means if I bring it close to the ceiling, which is neutral, it'll push the negatives in that ceiling away, leaving the positives a little bit closer. And that should mean it'll attract. And seriously, how beautiful is that? Thank you for watching. If you have any burning questions about the science behind my games, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or if you want to get your hands dirty with some of the topics we talked about today, feel free to check out Bond Breaker 2.0. It's totally free. It's on the web or on your mobile devices, so give it a try. 
Also, I just posted it up on Steam Greenlight, so if you want to see the game on your PC or Mac, uh, go there. Votes would be very much appreciated. The hydrogen pulls the electron. Wrong, 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 wrong. It's, uh, it's a lot of fuzzy things over there. Fuzzy things. Hold up. Think, think, uh, the wrong, 